everyone, welcome back to another one of our videos. This one's a new entry in the series and it is in fact part one of hopefully a number of videos we're going to put out where we're looking at testing. Uh, so you guessed that it, it's blowing stuff up and breaking things. All of that sort of stuff that people love so much. Just to qualify that and I guess to lead in before we start looking at things failing and bending and breaking. When it comes to testing, there's uh, a lot of testing being done at very different levels around the world by different practitioners and organizations and what have you. Uh, it can be done, uh, done at many different levels, some of it very good, some of it bad, uh, some of it quite misleading. It's worth keeping in mind that just simply breaking something uh, isn't always instructive. And in fact, we can break anything at the end of the day if we put enough load on it, uh, and we can effectively take that device to failure and then stand back and go, well, it broke. I guess the thing to take out of the sequence of videos you're about to see in a moment is everything up to that moment when the item fails, okay? And that's the really instructive part. It's the mode of rigging or the setup or the configuration, the applied load, what the item does, uh, by way of deforming elastically or in fact plastic deformation with metal uh, and then everything right up to that very last fraction of a second when it does in fact fail. That's really what we want you to get out of these short sequences that you're about to see. Um, we've set up a number of very common configurations and they will definitely be things that you will have seen or potentially used in real life out there in the field. Uh, and in fact, there's even the dreaded uh, gate open on a carabiner, which uh, it's a simple thing that people miss. On safety checks, the gate is locked open and we'll see just what sort of effect that can have. The other configurations are connection configurations. And as you'll see, they're quite standard things that happen every day. Um, bear in mind, the tests that you'll see in these videos are far from definitive. We would need to do many, many, many samples of the same test to gain anything like anything you'd call science. So really, they are only about being representative of a concept. And hopefully you can get a sense of where we're going with this from these uh, individual little scenes that you'll see here and uh, a, a, potentially a new understanding of the reality of some of these configurations and setups. Um, some of them you will definitely note that there is an appearance of safety uh, when we double up connectors and stuff like that. It appears stronger, but in fact it isn't. It's totally counterintuitive. And that's certainly the message we want you to get with some of these uh, videos you're about to see. Um, and it really buys into a notion that just because something is bigger and stronger doesn't automatically make it safer by any means, in fact. So there can be an illusion of safety just because something is bigger or doubled up or what have you. So anyway, so here we go. We're about to see a whole bunch of things break, but watch the videos very carefully. Look at the numbers involved there, review them a number of times, and then take away from this what you will. Um, but hopefully we'll find you'll find this uh, first entry in our series uh, informative and useful and hopefully make things safer for you. All right, here we go.